What is good, ladies and gentlemen? We have our special guest, Mr. Mitch Kofsky. How you doing tonight, sir? Uh, I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. You know, hit 1,000 on the Hardcore Sports Network. Now we got to talk about some gross shit. Oh, man. Uh, this is about to get really, really deep, y'all. So we're going to be talking about Dan Schneider and all of the events surrounding him. So we're going to be basically reacting to the documentary that we've seen and all the things that we've already known about Dan Schneider. Yep. So I'm first, of, oh, go ahead. No, no, you go. So basically, let's. I'm gonna let you break the ice. What do you think about this entire documentary that you've seen, all four episodes that you've seen thus far? I'm glad it actually came to light. We all knew there were like stuff rumblings. You knew that there was like some shit going on, but I'm glad it actually happened. And you have to thank uh, Jeanette McCurdy. If you did not read her book, uh, I didn't. So, if her, in her book, it talked about it. She talked about uh, Snyder as the quote unquote creator. So, she's the one that actually started it a year ago. So. Yeah, man. It, it's some of the most disgusting stuff that I've ever heard of. Like, his language is just so foul towards the kids. Like, if you think about that character from the Amanda show uh, or. Oh, my God. There's so much language that. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right. So now we finally got our guests here, our other guests. Welcome, everybody. Big D in the house. Hey, how you doing? I just want to give a disclaimer. Well, actually, two, actually. First of all, I got no patience for anybody on here want to come and talk shit. Because you're about to, you'll face my wrath if you do. Heard. Okay, right. not physically, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cuss your fucking ass out, because I don't got fucking patience for a bunch of losers who got nothing the fuck going on in their lives and they have no aspiration, and they just want to bring other motherfuckers down. Secondly, two. I just want to. It's a bit of a shameless plug, and it's even more shameless that I'm doing it on a live stream talking about this per se. But I highly recommend if you're into this kind of stuff, I highly recommend you follow dreadful things on instagram that's spelled dreadful as in d-r-e double d no not that type get your fucking mind out of the gutter <laughs> dreadful <laughs> things that i they're they're vendors they make a bunch of gothic diy nice beaded beanies they got a lot of like horror themed printed shirts studded jackets highly recommend you check them out i met them at ghost mart the other night at atlantic city Oh wow! So, and they were really, they were really cool. I tell you what, the dude running it, he and Bones would get along very. He and Bones would hit it off because they are both into Mushroom Head. So big D, and I, I actually learned a few t tips from her on how to create my own studded jackets, which I wouldn't mind doing in the future. So big D, you're joining us at a very good time. So we're just starting. So what is your whole take on a documentary that you haven't seen? since you told me that you haven't seen it. I'm not I'm not even the least bit surprised. I mean, this is friggin' Hollywood after all. They're filled to the brim with these type of creepos. It's just a matter of who's being... Basically, anybody that gets caught are basically people who have outlived their usefulness to the establishment, to yes. the elites, to the regime. And Schneider, he's of no use to anybody anymore, so now it's time to chuck him to the damn wolves. Now, that doesn't mean he's not still a piece of shit, and he does, and there's a special place in hell for him, yes. but it, it's no surprise considering so many people that have been caught once, once they're not relevant anymore. So, uh, Mitch Kofsky, what are your reactions to, uh, Dan Schneider's, uh, apologies? Well, he just got caught. If he didn't get caught, he wouldn't have done it. Common sense. He wouldn't have apologized if he didn't get caught. Yeah. He probably would have still kept going. Yep. He probably still have a job with Nickelodeon. This really all escalated in 2017. When this really started to come out to light, you see a little light at the end of the tunnel. That's when it really started. When oh, wow. The friggin pick. oh, wow. The friggin' pick you have. Pretty fitting. Oh, yeah. Uh, I brought uh, the out, of, out of curiosity, whose might they be, by the way? I would have to say Red Z Max. 
<laughs> what are you talking about? Fan page? Would it, are you I probably about? I probably would have posted something myself, but nah. I kind of yeah. uh, the ones the ones that I probably would have posted were from somebody that I promised I would not share pics publicly. Yeah. It was it was a it was a former love of my life that I actually had her try my jacket on. It'd be okay if you only showed her feet, though. We don't have to. No, see her I face. made a fucking I made a fucking promise <laughs> I would not show anything. <laughs> um. So so, what are your thoughts of overall, you two, about the uh, the foot gags and the coming gags? Because there was a lot of graphic stuff about cum too. Oh. But <laughs> yeah, it was surprising like, because there, 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 there's always there's always some adult humor. There's always some innuendos that get hidden in a lot of media. Like for example, you've seen multiple times in even some DreamWorks films. Like for example, yeah. Shrek, the show me the princess scene. Yes. Or when Shrek says, "I think he's compensating for something." Now that it, that barely treads water compared to this. Yeah, or the arrow up Shrek's ass, and then uh, Princess Fiona just pulls it out. Oh yeah, that. Oh yeah, that. Oh, yep. I don't know if I can watch Shrek anymore now. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Not the gumdrop buttons. No. Hooray, for, <laughs> hooray cynicism! I'm. Gl it's one. Of, it's one of the few times I'm glad I have that, so because I'm immune to that. Oh because I really, because the thing is, the world is so goddamn fucked up that there's nothing you can really do about anything. And anybody that gets caught are basically people that aren't useful to the system anymore, or people, or in other cases, some people that threaten to expose people and they turn up dead by quote unquote suicide. Yeah. So let's move on to another topic. What are your thoughts about Brian Peck? Is he related to Josh Peck? No. I thought he I thought he was, but it wouldn't no. shock me if he was. Uh, uh, and also, no. I don't know I don't know if you I don't know if you found this out, but so far I've seen Jerry Trainer, the guy who plays Crazy Steve and Spencer, he just unfollowed them. Wow. And so did Nathan Kress earlier mm. today. Yeah. Yeah. So the whole thing with the uh, with Peck the guy's an evil genius. To <laughs> be honest, he uh, found a manipulative plan where it send uh, the father out of the picture, and yes. then you basically the guy's an evil genius. That I, will, I will yeah, say it, this: it's definitely a sociopath, and those are some of the worst people. And I and will, it, they're all the people that have power are these I, kinds of people. I will say this: he almost gave it away with that uh, clown picture. That he was showing um, pedophile, you know, tendencies because yeah. he was a, he was friends with a guy who was a serial baby killer. Yeah, I forget the John Coo. What is it? Another Gacy. red flag. Uh, Gacy. He was a serial. Uh, yeah. He was friends with that guy. Uh, damn, was it Jonathan Gacy or something? I forgot his name. I do too, but that guy's arrested. That guy was arrested. Well. Well, he was put on a death penalty. He died in 1999. Yeah. And Brian Peck was friends with him. Yeah. 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 And here's a, and here's another here's another thing worthy of mentioning. Here Dan is. Schneider has also has also supposedly been to Epstein's Island. I knew if it. I don't know who that is. Look up fucking Jeffrey Epstein. That shit is sickening. I knew it. Thank you, Bones. Part, the fact that his partner in crime the fact that his partner in crime, Ghislaine Maxwell, only got 10 measly years during the trial of the century, which everybody wanted you to forget about and not be aware of. Mm -hmm. They made sure there was no video footage. It was all sketches. Mm. And she only got 10 measly years out of it. It's not as bad as Brian Peck's uh, sentencing. He only got freaking 16 months and then right away gets a gig with Disney. That is insane to me. Exactly. Oh, that that they're another fucking group, Disney, right there. And the most unbelievable part about that court case that I heard about was when, on all these people on the defendant side, uh, 
Brian Peck's side, there was everybody supporting him with at least 41 letters. But on uh, Drake Bell's side, it was just his mother, just his father, just his uh, siblings, and that's it. Oh, this nope. one's gonna this one's gonna hurt you. This one probably may hurt you too, Bones. But one of those letters was sent by the Batman Beyond voice actor. Yeah, they had some names, very yep. very big Hollywood names. I always, I for, I forgot I forgot one other recognizable name. All I all I remember immediately Terry McGinnis's voice actor. Um, there was also that kid from Boy Meets World. I think I don't know. Yeah, that's maybe not it was Boy Meets World. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Speaking of, speaking of boy, we, there's no, there's still nothing from Maitland Ward who you would think would bring this shit to light, considering she's now in the dance, she's now in the porn, she's now in the pornographic industry. So you can find this uh, documentary on HBO Max. Yeah, of course it's on HBO Max. Why couldn't it be on just regular HBO or YouTube? Oh. <laughs> because YouTube YouTube favors pedophiles, we all know that. Yep. Yeah. They're part of the. After all, they're part of the World Economic Forum, who, on record, has tried to normalize pedophilia. Oh my! Yeah. It's just, wow. Spe- speaking of speaking of speaking of other big conglomerates. You also you also need to take a close eye on Nickelodeon's parent company Viacom, who also own MTV, and I think and Paramount Pictures. That, that yeah. those, may, those may be something you want to look into, and so, something from that because a lot of a lot of shit is in shit is more interconnected than you realize from so, because back in back in 1987, 40 companies owned the media. Prior, as of 2011, only six companies. I think there's at least two more besides that, but usually them. Like for example, ABC, NFL. I think is owned by CBS. I forget. What, I forget what owns NFL.com. I know CNN ESPN is, owned is owned by, by Disney. Is, yeah, I know ESPN is owned by Disney. I know that. And speaking of the parents, going back to kind of the parents, what do you think about, you know, Nickelodeon, you know, especially the Dan Schneiders of the world, pushing the pushing the parents away from the kids while they're acting? That's an immediate red flag. That was an immediate red flag because it sounds to me when you want when you don't want parents knowing about something or you don't want them in the damn room. It tells me that you have pretty sinister intentions. Yes, that's usually what that's usually how that goes. Which kind of reminds me, Nat, Nat and Alex Wolf, I think, got the fuck out of there before it got too hairy for them. Even though I think it was, I think it was their parents who were in charge of their show. Y'all remember, y'all remember Nat and Alex Wolf, right? Yes. Yep. Funny thing is, they're now in obscure movies. And fun fact: Alex Wolf was in Oppenheimer, and I think Josh Peck was in Oppenheimer too. The latest Christopher Nolan film. Speaking of Christopher Nolan, Nat Wolf actually, I believe, voiced Batman at one point, which is crazy to think about. Yeah, man. Mm. So tell me about how Nickelodeon has kind of tainted our childhoods in a way, if you were ever addicted to any of these shows written by Dan Schneider. Or pretty much anything on Teen Nick. I never really got into Teen Nick as much as, say, the cartoon hours. At least we, at least we still. It. And mm. much of the Disney, ch- the Disney Channel ain't off the hook either. Yeah, we'll get to them in a second. It's funny yeah. how. Yeah, the first ones that came out against this were Jeanette McCurdy, and recently, the vo- the actor who played Nicole, also came out. She was like. She was one of the protesters outside the giant studio. Yeah, I just said where you hide in the link. Jeanette, I think Jeanette McCurry's case against them is ongoing. Mm-hmm. I I thought for a second Nicole left after one after the first season, but no, that was Dana. Nicole yes. stuck around. N- Nicole stuck around for a few seasons, and then they yes. and then they wrote her off. They wrote her off television. 
that you got sent to an all-girls school or something. Yes, AFIS. Make sure you check out that uh, that documentary. It's four episodes to it so far. I hope it's more episodes because there needs to be so much more that needs to be revealed and exposed about these heinous people. It's just now. The, it's also worthy to mention. That it's unclear. It's not necessarily clear the people that are unfollowing. I don't know if it's either because they want nothing to do with them or they're trying to trying to distance themselves so i don't know if they're condoning it or just trying to weasel their own ways out i'm, I'm yeah. pretty sure it's the damn former that they're just so fucking disgusted they just don't want anything to do with it either they but I, think, I think a lot i think more it's a matter of who was aware and who wasn't either they know I, something I'm pretty, sure most of the, I'm pretty sure most of the lead actors either they either they know something and they're just trying to protect their name or they're really really disgusted by it it's one of the two yeah i mean think about all the hush money that's probably been made and i'm gonna keep harping on hush jeanette money McCurdy, tonight. i think jeanette mccurdy has already confirmed the whole hush money thing yeah she's been um offered some hush money and she declined she disposed she uh oh yeah i already know, I already know that yeah i already know that mitch if you want to hop in there I mean, it's our like we already knew she declined that. It's that so in her book. It's just for me, it's just like when I think of these shows now, I'm like, damn, what the hell? I was like, not this person, not him. Like, what? Especially all that. I think all that got it really bad. Yes. Oh, that 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 reminds me. Look at how much of a fucking train wreck Amanda Bynes became. Yes. yes. How she struggled to go from childhood to adulthood was really because of those shows and the person behind it. Jamie Lynn Spears is also a mess, although her sister wasn't all it isn't exactly in good shape either. At least she wasn't at the time. All right. Her mom their mom wrote a book on parenting. So you kind of knew that was kind of like effed up. Yeah, they might have had their own problems unrelated, but <laughs> that that shit probably didn't help either. Nothing helped that family. Nothing. Nothing. Right. It makes you wonder what more names are going to come out. Oh, man. Um, I, I wouldn't count on Ariana saying anything anytime soon. What Ariana had to go through, and there's three scenes in mind that comes in mind when it comes to her. The squeezing of the potato, yeah. the dripping water on herself in bed, and then the fucking sucking her own toes. That was just fucking gross to look at. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Why would you want these kids to do that? I mean, yeah. why do you think they're a bunch of sick Fs? Right. And... Uh... Some of them might be even just as sick as the direction. Now, it, th this goes beyond Nick, per se. There are a lot of child actors that just absolutely lose their minds once they enter teenhood. That just become absolute train wrecks. Speaking of which, thank God Macaulay Culkin turned his life around. He's been he's been doing a lot better ever since I around maybe 2015, 2017, somewhere around there. I was just about to talk about that with you. Uh, your thoughts about uh, Macaulay Culkin? Who, me? Who, me? I All just right. said that. Yeah, yeah, you pretty much gave your thoughts, so. I was going to say the same exact thing, honestly. And um, have we really ever heard of Jamie Lynn Spears since she was 16 and pregnant? Nope. Maybe a little bit here and there, but not really much. She's pretty much kept a low profile. I mean, yeah. pretty much can, the only one that uh, makes the news in ways that are good or bad is her sister, Brittany. Yeah, and she has she still has some issues, but I'm still preaching the fact that she is not crazy, even though she was dancing with knives and all that stuff. She's not crazy. She is just tired of all the bullshit that she had to deal with in her twenties. Right. right. And she probably she probably had to deal with she probably had to deal with others sick individuals even in her own and this probably goes back to before her solo career started when she was in a disney club too oh yeah speaking of speaking of disney 
there's this there's this new Star Wars show coming out that's just an absolute p- pile of dookie that's headed up by Harvey Weinstein's former personal assistant. Oh, oh I, my yeah, God. God. Disney are oh. still still employing those sickos. Oh. And of course she's and of course she's promoting a progressive feminazi agenda, which is kind of the theme with Star Wars nowadays. It, Star Wars is pretty much a it, it's a franchise on life support. If you were to tell people back in the day when Revenge of the Sith came out that people would be sick of seeing Star Wars shows coming out, you'd be laughed out of the fucking building, but yet here we are. Yeah. Especially if you said that in the 80s or 90s. Hell yeah. Well, Star Wars was kind of in a dead state in the 90s before the prequels came out. That was when Timothy Zahn's Thrawn comics were, uh, uh, were a thing. Make sure y'all hit that like button, baby. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Make sure y'all subscribe to Mitch Kofsky as well and Big D. Yeah, but if you come on here to talk shit, don't bother because you'll get blocked fairly quickly. And if you support pedophilia and all the acts that have been done in that nasty documentary, you will get blocked as well. So, Big D, are you... And if you're, like- and if you're a statist. Yeah. Go, so, Big ahead, D, are you physically going to rumble and kick? Yeah. I actually have Rumble and Kick accounts. I'm not moving from YouTube to there. I'm saving my other topics that I don't really, that I'm not going to talk about on YouTube. I save that kind of stuff for there. Like, for example, the libertarian stuff, stuff that YouTube would most likely censor you for. Right. Yeah. Oh, speaking of children stars, whatever happened to Mary Kate and Ashley, what really happened to them over the years? Oh. It's, just, uh, they, it's simple. Nothing really happened. It's simple. They used to be so wholesome. They they grown older. They're starting to grow bum bums. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> They're pretty much doing their own thing. M&M pretty jokes. much. Oh, I, I still can't stop thinking about that character from the. Uh, what is it? The uh, the Amanda show who absolutely adored Amanda. Her last name was Taint. She was like, Amanda, please. Oh, my God. Yes. It, it was Penelope like Taint. Penelope. Taint. I forgot. I, I don't even recognize Taint. It, I didn't really watch that show <laughs> that often. I didn't I didn't really gravitate towards Teen Nick back in the day. For those yeah. who don't know, uh, Taint is between like what? The anus and the butthole it's like a little testicle between those two something like that but, but uh, what, on a, what on a woman it could be a woman or a man i don't know pretty uh, <laughs> what that fucking that fucking that fucking little area where there's nothing there yes it's pre- it's basically a testicle like between the anus and some other part, man. It is ain't disgusting. No, ain't no third ball. It probably is. I'm going to look up the definition. It's pretty gross. <laughs> but how Nickelodeon <laughs> got away with that was wow. Probably right. because probably because the taint can be spelled different ways and with different definitions, and they probably abuse that loophole. That's Because that's something that could go over an adolescent's head. It's one of those. It's one of those jokes that a kid would not get right away. But if you're watch, Dave Chappelle did the, Dave Chappelle did this a long time ago, where he referenced that there's things that you see in shows as a kid, but when you watch it as an adult, you're like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Not me- maybe not. It's sickening. It's one of the reasons why cancel culture went after Pepe Le Pew. Oh boy, that was a disaster. That was crazy. That's the reason why they put, didn't put him in a uh, Space Jam too. Yeah, and, and they and they shrunk they shrunk Lola Bunny's tatas. And they took the word "devil" out of Tasmanian. And they took, and they didn't stop there. There's a lot of stuff that in Japan they're still revealed, but in the West, their ass gets fucking shrunk. Mm. Recently, there was a there was an uproar, and rightfully so, about. Tifa Lockhart from Final Fantasy, they shrunk her fucking ass so, for the U.S. version of, of the newest game. So the definition of it is, in human anatomy, the perineum is the surface region between both males and females between the public symph- symphysis 
and the coccyx. It is a diamond-shaped area on the inferior surface of the trunk, which includes the anus and, in females, the vagina, the perineum, also in erogenerous zone, and is known as the taint or code in American slang. So it's basically that it's basically that little area where there's nothing there. Yeah. Oh. Wow. They got away with that shit. Yeah, because it's a word that you're not going to get right away. Yeah. They they sneak a lot of shit in there. They sneak a lot of innuendos in kids shows because kids are not going to fucking get it right away. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Yo, remember when uh, Peck wanted to be Drake's father on Drake and Josh? Oh my god! Yes, oh. that part was disgusting. It, it didn't was, just uh, it didn't hit me until just now. But remember that line from Hugh Neutron? One day I sat on a banana and that changed my life. Oh my oh, god! Shit. Was Dan Schneider uh, uh, producing that show? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think do I don't think he's the only he sicko. In, I don't think he's the only sicko employed by Viacom. No, man. Oh, not Jimmy Neutron. That might have been the that might have been the only. There's a few innuendos in that show as well that you may not get right away. There's now innuendos in every single show. Let's be honest. Yeah, I mean. There was a part in Hey Arnold where uh, Helga was like to her uh, Arnold statue in her closet, you make my womanhood tremble. I mean, there was uh, that in the window. Of course you would bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> Out of everyone, of course you would. Yeah. <laughs> right. I love Helga Pataki. <laughs> She's got nothing on gas. <laughs> At least she didn't get cum shots squirted on her. Oh no. god! Oh my god! No, nah, if it, if it was if it was gas, she would probably choke someone with a fucking chain, and that's something you wouldn't get right away. This yeah. was especially showcased in shows like Victorious, Zoe One Hundred and One, iCarly. Those later all shows, all that got it the worst. With that fear oh. factor shit, they got it the worst. What was it called? It was Dare something. It was Double Dare or something like that? Yeah, something like that. Because and they wanted to be like fear factor. That, the, the part that really got me was where that black kid, that black kid got it the worst, where he got uh, peanuts spread all oh. over him. And, uh, and he had the dogs licking on him. Ugh. How do you think, like, Peanut butter and dog drool. I remember that. How the hell is that a pro? It, it, it was peanut butter and dog. It was peanut butter and dog drool, wasn't it? Yeah. It, it was peanut butter spread all over him, and the dog drool. Well, obviously, it's going to be there if the dog's licking you. So. Yeah, they were. They were trying to copy Fear Factor. Yeah, they were. Um, there was this one kid. He was white though. He ate a scorpion. Yep. A live a scorpion. Scorp a live scorpion? I'm pretty sure it wasn't real. It was real. No. It was that a was live an scorpion. fucking scorpion? Yes. Yeah. How the hell did he how the hell did he survive? <laughs> what did he venomized? What they cut its tail off? No, it just went open and boom. And then <laughs> an, another part that was really insane to me. There was, was the it same a big black scorpion? It, yes, it was. It was gigantic. It was like the because size. I know, of I know there were. I know there was a tiny scorpion. Like the, there was a vendor at Ghost Mart the other night that had, dead that had a, a few dead creatures encased in glass. And they, one of the they, things I suggest, one of the things I suggested to her was, getting an amber one with a mosquito in it to reference Jurassic Park. Big yeah. D. So I was thinking, okay, maybe a bit, maybe it was a small scorpion, but not. Nah, it was a big one. Big D. I want you to put your hand in the air. Uh, circle around the ball of your hand. That's how big the scorpion was. Big enough. The one, the one I, the one that was in that little, the one that was in that glass was the size of a quarter. 
But let me tell you the part that really ticked me off. There was a bodysuit that this black oh, kid had to wear. God. He he was supposed yes, to be the world's it was made young. Of latex. Yes, what? and that's not all. Um, the bodysuit he was wearing was supposed to be. He was supposed to be like the youngest rapper ever, and he was supposed to be a fetus. And somebody suggested, let's make the bodysuit charcoal. Charcoal gray. Yes, so it yeah. can match the color of his skin. You, you have no idea how racist that shit was, and how it fe- how furious I was just watching that shit. It would have been it would have been worse. It would have been worse if it was a white if it was a white kid behind that because it would make it see it would make it seem like it would make it seem like <laughs> it would make it seem like blackface. No, nah, they would never get away with that. Okay, Eagle Slayer, you can get away with this one. <laughs> oh shit <laughs> but thank god i'm into adult feet yeah and women's one too i would hope so it exactly. has to be women <laughs> y- y'all think i like nigga feet no way i like women's feet <laughs> some of us can relate to that Ugh. Nigga. Oh, boy. Right. But but man, that black kid really had it bad on all that. He lasted for two seasons. And then when he was uh trying to come back for like what season nine, he had to deal with the hardships of Hollywood where he didn't get accepted back. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I love that girl. Hollywood, yeah. Hollywood Hollywood is very cutthroat, and that's not even the worst part. No. Yeah. No. How about that girl who was should, offered uh, to have her own show before Amanda Bynes came in? Oh, yeah. She got shunned off the show just because Amanda Bynes was younger. Mate, yeah. you might want to look you might want to look at it this way. Those who got snubbed got off easy. Yes. Of course, back. A thousand. Yeah. I was I would have mentioned Jake Lloyd, but his his problems more so came from a natural cause, paranoid schizophrenia. It had yeah. nothing to do with the backlash from the Phantom Menace. He had he had no he was not aware of it. His mother shielded him from any backlash from coming his way. His problems mainly came from being a paranoid schizophrenic. He's getting better recently, but. Mm. He still loves Star Wars, but a lot of people thought for many years he was so destroyed over the fat, the backlash of the Phantom Menace yes. that he went crazy. But no, nah, it was because he was diagnosed paranoid schizophrenic. He would. How about Dan Schneider of all people fat shaming uh, one of those girls? She was like, uh, "Well, we we already got a fat person on the show. Let's boot her because you know." It was the first one. It was yeah, show that was gonna have her own show. Yeah, they slowly started to give her lesser and lesser roles until they booted her off. Ugh. That dude was incredibly crude with his criticism. Oh, I have, oh, he's already a sick fuck. Yeah, too bad in the nineties we never knew. We had to wait all these years to finally know. Right, and. There's a lot of people out there who we know nothing about. There's a lot, that's that's what's more disturbing is the shit you don't know. For all we know, there could be you know new faced employees for Nickelodeon who we don't know about who are absolute pedophiles as well who I'm, don't even have a record. I'm not just talking about Nickelodeon. I'm not just talking about Teen Nick. I'm also talking about the Disney Channel. I'm also talking yeah. about Hollywood in general. They're filled to yeah. the brim with them. And it's one of the reasons why they want to keep that hidden, which is why the Epstein client list isn't going to get released anytime soon. So based on what you've heard from these two networks, would you totally put Cartoon Network off the hook about this, or do you not trust anybody? No. Cartoon Network know. may have some, may have had some voices that had a hand in something. Cartoon Network didn't really have any live action or anything like that. The thing is, voice actors don't think, voice actors don't really do, 
they're not really into the same kind of shit the face and body people do. They're different breed. Yeah, they they may act they may be ultra progressive on social media. They may be far left wing, but I don't know if they're really are really a part of this. Yeah. They may defend or condone whatever, but I don't think they are as engaging in it as like the face and body people do. Yeah. But you never know. Um so and I keep really in mind, w- Cartoon, Cartoon Network employs most of the same voice actors as Nickelodeon does. And wow, okay, so that's a good reason to not consider them off the hook. Yeah. I don't think anybody dude, really is. Dude, yeah. what about when Snyder was getting massages every day on set? Yes, he was very sexist. He would have only the women do it. And, and when it came down to the jokes, too, uh, yeah. real quick. To kind of jump off topic, uh, when it came down to the jokes, he would only trust the men, and he would just kind of push the women to the side. He would save those women for the massages for only those purposes. Yeah, I mean it's just disgusting. And shout out That's to those two. The, no, no, Harvey no, Weinstein was more or less the same. Yes, and so was Woody Allen. And those are people, and Roman Polanski, and these are only people, keep in mind, again, these are only people we know. Now, Harvey Weinstein was the king of hush money. He would pay assistants. He would pay the victims. My goodness, he had it all. He has so much power. Right. Just... And, that, and that's the key right there. Those in power are fucking protected, or if you know the right people, if you're paid up with the right people. And we have to say the same prime thing example, about Washington's example. Dan Snyder, too. Yeah, although he wasn't protected enough, he was forced to sell the team. But then again, he basically sold them for... No, no, for he didn't my... sell them. no, he didn't sell them for pennies on the dollar. It should have been only pennies on the dollar, but he managed to make himself a bigger fortune by selling them than he did when he bought them and during his entire ownership. I was going to say that too because he he bought he bought them for what like six hundred million and then he ended up getting paid seven billion to sell the team. Yeah, uh, the, a lot of sports leagues aren't off the hook with this kind of shit either. Of course, Let's obviously they don't they don't have any child actors or any employees or anything like that, but they're definitely Let's not off the hook with this type of shit. What's going on, Jordan Trask? And this is all happening in your city, Jordan. Crazy Although, what happens to Cali. Anyway, the thing with the NFL, the thing with the sports leagues is anything that comes out is usually somebody saying something racist or usually sexual assault. Those are usually the only things that really come out or if somebody was on drugs or was embezzling. All right, we have another guest on the chat, Mr. Jordan Trask. How you doing? Uh, what's up, Hyden? Yeah, uh, we're talking about Dan Schneider and all the events that are happening around him. So kind of give me your thoughts if you've seen the documentary. Well, give me a facts of Mr. Hyden as he's a Philadelphia Eagles fan. Um, Dan Schneider is one of the worst owners of the NFL that was with the Redskins and the Commanders, um, and he wanted to sell the team. That's not the Schneider we're talking about. Well, the other Schneider. <laughs> the Nickelodeon <laughs> Schneider. Right. There's another Dan oh, out there named uh, Dan Schneider. So let's go with another Dan out there, shall we? Uh-oh. <laughs> Reminds you me know, of... I was just thinking about that with that. I was just thinking about that. I was, like, saying, I, I was, I was just about to bring up wrestling. Oh, yeah. We got wrestling. Yeah. And this reminds me of the Dwayne it, the Rock. It's Johnson, the entertainment Tony industry as a whole. It's the entertainment industry as a whole. Yeah. And this reminds me of the Dwayne the Rock Johnson and the, the Cody Rhodes slapping each other in the face contest. Mm. What do you think? Does Does the Rock have a rap sheet? Uh, no, he doesn't. But I say uh, Cody and Dwayne got to stop slapping each other. Have some fun wrestling. It, it, it's a work. It's it's generating an audience. People are uh-huh. getting really invested in it. It gets people invested. Yeah. And they're gonna have they're gonna be part of the main event night one. 
And yeah, I'm gonna be in that one. Want, people can say whatever the hell they want about The Rock, but he is no fool. He is a true veteran of the business, and I think he's he's done a tremendous job getting Cody over. I think he got Cody over more than he could get himself over. And what the rock is cooking? Yeah, and because oh, people, I have a joke, but fact, now I'm, I don't know. John Cena All right, and Dwayne Rock Johnson had a good wrestling match a long time. Yeah, true. What was he gonna, what was he gonna say, Mitch? You're gonna God. smell what Dan Snyder cooking. Ew! What? <laughs> I told Ew. you. God, no. Ew. I, told you. I didn't bring the meme or whatever. <laughs> uh. well, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's the you meme that you had hiding the long time? Ew. <laughs> Glenn Quagmire. Oh, when, he, when he reacted to Peter Griffin's mother. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh shit. Peter, t- Peter took his Peter took her death pretty well, honestly, oh, if boy. I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah. Homer had a hard time with his. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's your mother. I mean, you should care. With Homer, it was she was gone for most of his life, and he yeah. was mad at her for so long, and when he finally forgave her, she died. Yeah. This is why I'm glad Eminem forgave his forgave his mom. And also apologized too. Well, I think I think Haley Jade had a lot to do with that. Yes. But going back to the documentary, I want to talk about, you know, kind of Jeanette McCurdy for a little bit. What do you think about her relationship with her mother? What, on the show? Yes. I know they kind of showcased it a little bit, not much on the documentary, but what do you think about her relationship with her mom? I don't. I didn't really know too much about it, uh, about her kayfabe. Yes, I'm using wrestling terminology here. Mm-hmm. So basically, for those who don't know, be- uh, Jeanette McCurdy is glad that her mother is dead because she was raped in the past. Her mom's a oh, child molester. Oh, we're talking McCurdy in real life, not talking about the character on television in kayfabe. No, we're not talking oh. about Sam. We're talking about Jeanette McCurdy. Oh. Yeah, so... I don't, even, I don't even forget... I don't forgive half of my own parents. So I can relate to that. Of course, he, he wasn't no goddamn pedo or anything. Thank fucking God. Yeah. But... Elf... Um, he was still a fucking he was still a fucking abuser and a tyrant, but he wasn't no he wasn't no pedo. Yeah, no my, way. My parents were together pretty much until I was seventeen, and I moved to Atlanta. Mm-hmm. That's when my my Why parents you? my parents mind you are still married. It's just they can't live with each other. My dad cannot deal with my mom for shit. She's just so strict. Yeah. I can understand that. Mine divorce. Mine divorced when I was two and a half over a fight, and it was a never-ending tug of war over custody, and that caused me to miss out most on my missed out on most of my childhood. I'm sorry to hear about that. And speaking it, it of was, a baseball scandal investigation of Epi Mizahura, who made a gambling shit problem, so I gotta say, fuck Epi Mizahura. Who? The fucking Japanese interpreter from the Dodgers. I don't see uh, what the fuck is wrong with gambling on a sport or gambling in general. You should be able to gamble on what you want. You rich as fuck. Let, well, let it be at your own risk. Which, that's I find it. Speaking of which, I find it funny how athletes can't gamble on, on their own sport yet politicians can fucking insider trade. That's it's funny how that works. Problem. That's on Epi. Yeah, it's crazy how. Like, yeah. Works. And speaking as an Angel fan, trying to laugh at Epi getting him fired for that gambling shit. So there you have it. Reminder that reminder that Martha Stewart was once jailed for insider trading. Yet politicians get away with it every single day. Ew. Oh, gross. even the ones you might like. Mm. Oh man. 
So, uh, Jordan, this is a question for you. I've asked this question to these two earlier. What kind of impact, as far as the WWE, Nickelodeon, all these shows you were watching uh, when you were a kid, what kind of impact is all this news surrounding kids? How do you feel about, how do you, do you think it's tainted your childhood a little bit? Laugh my ass off. No way that could happen, Mr. Hyden. And speaking of the WWE on which network that it could be, however, TBS or True TV. For some whatever, reason, whatever Vince McMahon was on. Oh, my God. Vince McMahon's a troublemaker because he's a little bit of toxic-ass piece of shit like these motherfuckers. I'm like, fuck that dude. Do you think that ruined your childhood? Since I didn't watch wrestling, but that did ruin the childhood days because, um, you know, Stone Cold was trying to hurt Vince McMahon's leg. Like, damn. He just wanted to hurt his leg in the hospital, though. So the thing about Jeanette McCurdy nowadays is uh, she isn't really into the acting career because that's something her mom, that's something what her mom pushed her to do. She just wants to, you know, just live life her way. That's another reason why many of these child actors go crazy. Yeah. It's because they, it, it, it steals their childhood from them. Yes. And that's one of the reasons why Amanda Bynes wanted uh, to uh, get some emancipation. And guess who well, was all for, and guess it was all for that idea? It, Dan Schneider. Also, it's one of the reasons why they witch hunted Michael Jackson. Yeah. One of the reasons – now, he wasn't a child actor per se. This had nothing to do with it, but a rough childhood is another reason why Marilyn Manson was fucking witch hunted. What's good? It looks like we have a new guy in the chat. What's good? Subscribe to the channel. That's El Capitan Rafacho. Oh, El that's uh, right. That's right. What's up, bro? That sounds like a Mexican up, uh, wrestler name. That sounds like a Mexican uh -huh. wrestler name. <laughs> uh -huh. just like uh just like a guy from Chula Vista named Might be his heritage. Might um, be his heritage. You never know. Hey, uh, Mr. Mr. El Capitan, uh can I call you um El Toro? It's a yes to him. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I literally in the slapped WWE. myself in the face uh, for Rey that. <laughs> you hear that? The brother smacks himself down. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you what Cody Rhodes is better than Dom Mysterio and Rey Rysteri uh, Mysterio mm -hmm. say whatever yeah. you want about Dom but he's a natural heat magnet yeah Cody Rhodes is a better guy than Dom well obviously Ro Rhodes has been in the business way longer and he's and Rey Mysterio is like one of the shortest guys to ever wrestle yeah, he's only he's five six. If I'm a Cody Rhodes fan, I would say he'd be better than Dom. At my point, obviously, he's been in the business way longer. It's common sense there, and he's, he's from Villa Vista, California. He has family in the business. Love. I mean, they they are both they are both second generation wrestlers. Yeah, and yeah, but come on. It, 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 head dusty. Head shoulders, obviously. Speaking of which, Rey Mysterio is feuding with his son, Dirty Dom. Dominic Mysterio, again, this better get settled in uh, no countouts, no disqualification falls, counts, anywhere match at WrestleMania. Dom should have gone over last year, and Dom should have came out to Eddie's heel entrance. Mm -hmm. The one with the, fo the phone ringing one. When Eddie turned heel recently, uh, briefly in 2005, right before his death. Dashie, you're welcome to come in here as well if you like. I haven't spoke to Dashie in a while, but speaking of a baseball player who was on steroids named Barry Bonds, who played for the San Francisco Giants, getting his ass booed by the fans. Every single time I got to keep hearing a bunch of fans that boo him. There's uh, also Mark McGuire, who also took steroids. And the Simpsons. Oh, the Simpsons yeah, Mark the Simpsons once parodied it with a character. There was a fictional baseball player on The Simpsons named Barry Maguire. Oh, they, Mark Maguire was on steroids, too. I can't believe that. It can never be like Tatis. A lot of Alex Yes. Many players were on steroids back in the day. Yeah, Padre fans hated there Barry. There was a lot of 
or like Dodgers. A lot fans of times, did. back in the day, you could get away with it. it. It didn't start to become shunned until later on. Yeah, they actually normalized it. It, it became a normal thing for these players. No, it didn't. It, everybody was on steroids in football back in the seventies. Yikes! Hence well, yeah. why they were jacked like LT. Yeah, and here's the fact again. Here's the question, y'all. Bunch of NLS fans bullying Barry Bonds a lot more like Dodger fans and Padre fans like usual. And they always love to boo him, so there you have it. Maybe hey. it's because in his prime he used to rip the Dodgers apart and always hit so, home runs on them. And speaking of the 2004 honor of Petco Park in San Diego when Jay Payton robbed off Barry Bonds' home run. <laughs> Fuck the Padres. Yeah. <laughs> and Hyden, speaking, oh, speaking of... Speaking of Speaking of that, San Diego was the setting for Drake and Josh. And the funny oh, how they yeah. could get the rights funny how they could get the rights to the San Diego Padres, but they couldn't get the rights to the Seattle Seahawks. Now when football was referenced on iCarly. I'm kind of conflicted going back and forth with my own mind. Drake and Josh, no matter what we think about Dan Schneider, is a great show. Can we agree on that? Yeah, and speaking of another fact that Philly fans were putting signs for bonds and said Babe Ruth put a hot dog and a beer with something else new, and Aaron did it with class. How did you do it? Like, I Googled it up and find out how Philly fans were putting the signs up for Barry Bonds when they call him steroids. Mm-hmm. Did one of your Philly <laughs> fans do that to Bonds? I don't know. I, I don't remember back then. Well, one of your Philly fans were billing Barry because they chanted him steroids, sure everybody steroids, steroids. You see? I would, sure I, I, I would totally love that if they did that. Yeah, it's like in 2006 season in baseball. I was a huge fan of Barry Bonds in 2020, I mean 2001, until I, oh. the, the Mitchell report came out eventually, and then I started hating on him. Yeah, but bring me that you mean because I can't stand Barry Bonds. Seattle However, Seahawks. Seattle Seahawks. What's, Eddie, Seahawks what's going on? Yeah, speaking of which, on iCarly, it was they were the Seattle Cobras, not the Seahawks. Yeah, well, they, they, the show iCarly was based uh, in Seattle, while Drake and Josh was based in San Diego. I really there thought it. Few, would be, there were actually a few. It was, it was basically the same in universe because they I, both drank that Coca Cola uh, parody. I um, really thought it was in L.A. though. Oh yeah, it was, it was in San Diego. Okay. Well, yeah, some people know. I would imagine Zoe. I would imagine Zoe 101 was based in Florida. Nothing else special. But the Padre, the Padre was, was, it was one of my favorite Drake and Josh episodes. The where the San Diego Padres and the San Francisco Giants was referenced too. Yeah. It was when they were. That might be. That might be something else. The mm-hmm. the whole foam finger thing. Mm-hmm. That could have been another. That could have been another innuendo, but you might be looking. How about in the very? How about in the pilot when Josh was dressed up as a woman when he was writing their article? Miss Ooh. Nancy, yep. I think. Yep. It also didn't help that. It also didn't help that. I think. He, I think he once came out of the shower. No, no, no. That was a different episode. Never mind. That was a different episode, but I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god! Either I, point. I do not want to know. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Mm. Damn. <laughs> Drake, and, Drake and Josh was a damn good show. I, I will not lie. Uh, I, I have a hard time giving that one up, even though it was a Dan Schneider show. Uh huh. There, there was the least bit of innuendos and wrong in that show. I think that was truly uh, Dan Schneider's peak, if you really ask me. I think that the Practical Jokers had more TV shows like usual. But at the same time, I'm not praising that fat boy. Hell no. Not at all. I, I, I just appreciate it for the fact that it was Drake Bell's scapegoat from what happened to him the year prior when the show started in 2004. Right. And Drake Bell was pinched for pedophilia years ago. Yes, he was. Um, actually, much more recent than the whole uh, time he got uh, 
you know, uh, raped and molested. Right. Oh, snap. Uh, conspiracy theory here. Dirty Dan and SpongeBob was Dan himself. They try to give us a hint on SpongeBob. Remember when Sandy was sleeping in her bed yes. and she was hibernating? That's yeah. Ooh. man. Oh yeah, it wasn't a Texas outlaw she was after. No. And then she was screaming. Unless he was. Unless he was and then that song, was, I want to go home. Who the hell was? Who the hell was Pinhead Larry supposed to be? Who you call a Pinhead? <laughs> Pinhead. <laughs> uh, Patrick. Patrick Star. No, like the reference. Who was like? It's gonna bother me now. Larry's no. <laughs> Drake's dad did it. Yeah. Yeah, there's something we didn't actually talk about. Yes, we have to talk about Dan uh Dan. Uh Drake's dad <laughs> and how he was a hero. <laughs> what? No way. Was, no way. He was a hero, but Drake decided to uh back his dad off. His mother no, he didn't decide. It was uh Peck. That got into his head. Yes, oh, but, oh God, that's but, wrong. Oh, but, hold, but hold on. Uh, we still have to give uh, Drake's mom some credit because even though Drake didn't want him around the scenes of Nickelodeon, um, the mother said to the father, okay, make sure this guy, Brian, does not touch him. Give him all the rights, but make sure he doesn't touch him. No, that was the father that told him that, that told her that. No, the mom told him that. The mom told the dad that. Then the, I remember the dad said, don't uh, keep your eyes out. Uh, like something like that. I don't know. I think the mom it, said that. Either way, someone said it did to someone. <laughs> Let's just leave it like that. Someone yeah. said someone. But, uh, I mean, can you imagine Miranda Castro now? Like, think about this, right? Drake and mm -hmm. Dodge. Sam and Cat. Can we be honest real quick? Miranda Cosgrove is scared to come out, scared to expose the truth. Because oh I think God, she, yes. I think she was really close close to Dan Schneider. Yeah, yeah. that's possible. I think yeah. she's just as afraid as Jeanette McCurdy was or is. Right. And then look at the writers. It was only those two women. All of them were afraid, and then uh, I forget what episode it was. Yeah, they there probably was a got woman that her face was covered. It was probably the last two episodes where you only saw her fingers. Yeah, yep. Oh my god! But everything that Jake Bell went through, man, that was tough. And the way he made this confession, and when he was started talking about the dude going in him while he was asleep. And the way he crossed his legs when he was explaining it, I felt so uncomfortable watching it. I was like, how, why am I watching this? I'm like, why? Ooh. That made me cringe. <laughs> Let's just admit, Dan Snyder is evil, and then Kieran Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy with an uh, evil give. <laughs> and then after all of this, um... Dan Schneider goes up to goes up to Drake Bell and says, "Are you all right?" And all this good citizen shit. And then after all of that, he just keeps it covered. He makes sure that nobody else finds out about this, and that's one of the reasons why Drake has kept it a secret. He was so afraid because of Dan Schneider's power. Did you? So you saw the interview with that guy from uh, iCarly, the smoothie guy from the smoothies. And then he had to interview Dan Snyder. The smoothie guy. Um, you recognize him. in one episode when they actually he actually showed the place. Yeah. You'll recognize the guy. But, uh, yeah, he had an interview. He interviewed Dan Snyder on YouTube and, like, talked about it. And Dan Snyder oh, yes. And that's and, – and earlier in this uh, live stream, I was like, uh, what do you make of his apology? And I said that was utter bullshit. Yeah. And there was fans, or maybe a, a woman who was part of the team who was like, okay, that's complete bullshit. You could have done all of this in private and apologized in private instead of going out on TV and sounding completely insincere. 
Yeah, it's damage control. That's usually how that goes. You're only apologizing because you got caught. Somebody said that earlier. I think it was Mitch. What? Uh, yeah, somebody apologizing because you got caught. Yeah, yeah, that was me. Yeah. Unbelievable. Whoever watches the the most Nickelodeon, uh, Nickelodeon TV show that is provided to Backyard against the door to the Explorer and Go Diego Go. Would you combine those three TV shows? It is it a yes or no question? Give me your thoughts. Oh, I'm gonna have to think about that. Oh, oh yeah. didn't she, didn't she just die? Who the woman who played Dora? No, yeah. the woman. One of the women who behind backyard agains. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. She died at uh 61 years old just weeks ago. Yeah, that's it. That's all I know about that. Rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. Uh, what is this comment? She didn't have to. She didn't have to. Drake spoke for everyone. I don't know, man. I really think she could. She, her voice still matters. All of these people involved, their voices still matter. Jeanette McCurdy can come out. Uh, Miranda Cosgrove can come out. All these cats can come out who really haven't spoken. Victoria before. Justice. Yes, Ariana Grande. Ariana All Grande. these cats. I don't oh. think Ariana's going to really say anything anytime soon. Uh, mm -hmm. What were you saying, Mitch? Huh? What were you saying, Mitch? I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> it's, it's, it is possible, though, that. Ariana could at one of her next concerts, she could pull a George Corpse Grinder Fisher and listen to the crowd chant Buck Dan Schneider or something like that, and then she gets on the mic and says, You said it. Damn. Yeah, she has to come out and say something. It's her and Amanda Bynes. They yes. once Amanda Bynes one of them says something, it's done. It started with Amanda Bynes, so it makes sense why she has to come out. I don't think she will. Well, Nicole's Nicole's actor recently came out. That I know for a fact. Yeah, yeah. I've been watching her videos like nonstop. Well, you know um, what? You know what, Hyde? It's just like Natasha Bedingfield and Charlie XCX. You know that. What are you talking about? Huh? Some of the singer of celebrities. The yeah, I know who I know who Natasha Bedingfield is, but um, what are you talking about? Talking about how if it is uh a concert like Charlie XCX and Natasha Benningfield that I'm talking about. Like the two ladies, the two singers out there. Or you know what? Let me write in the uh let me write in the private chat so I can give it to you, Hayden. Okay. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta better understand what you're talking about. <laughs> huh. But yeah, I, I really think that Drake Bell part, that was really what made me the most uncomfortable about that documentary. That was the probably the juiciest part of the documentary, unfortunately. For me, it was all that. That's what it was. For me, it was all that with yeah. um, Double Day or whatever that was. And yeah, they were really racist towards that, uh, that black boy. And, they were yeah. really, and Dan was really sexist toward those women. It's just crazy. Like, that was already that, that in itself was a red flag. Yeah. I just don't understand like the parents not being allowed on set. That was our that was the major red flag. Yeah. Because that means you have sinister intentions. Okay. Yeah, I'm like that's like, if you're under the age of 18, or hell, even 16, you need parents there 24-7 around the clock. Yes. To supervise what they're doing, make sure, you know, you, you want to see your children. Why, why should some other rando just tell you that you can't even see your own kids? It's just unacceptable. Some, yeah, some stranger just because you work for a joint. Yeah. Imagine that. Yeah. How about it's already, how it's already, bad enough, it's already bad enough schools pull that crap sometimes? 
Yeah. Yeah, but how about when Dan Snyder found yes, Amanda Bynes in a comedy club? Like to me, that was the red flag right there. Yeah, comedy she was club. only she was only ten years old. Yes. Uh, yeah. And once wait. he discovered her, she literally took over the show. And going back to what we just talked about earlier, she slow he slow he slowly started to get that other girl out of the way. Yeah. Just because Amanda Bynes was so much younger than her. She was at a tender age of 10. She was funny. She was so little and innocent and cute. When? So. And then no one knew where she was like the entire time. Yeah. Yeah. You in the quagmire. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bond, including... Oh, no way. Okay, so, <laughs> and speaking of Bill Peters' investigation Disgusting. provided with the NHL of Akeem Alou that is converted of being a accused of racism that is not to be tolerated. Back to 2019 when the Calgary Flames were investigating Bill Peters, they were knowing about Akeem Alou's situation, so it's a bad idea to handle it. Again, that's usually the main sports scandal that usually comes out is usually somebody being racist. I don't yeah. think I don't think there's any uh, sports scandal that will ever top uh, what Jerry Sandusky did. No, how much is like the the sexual assault scandal of the Chicago Blackhawks? That's the reason why I call Penn State the Shower Boys. Gross. Oh my god! Oh my! I call god. Peta, I call oh, Peta no. State. When, Ew! Oh my god. I mean, this is not like how it's the 2010 sexual well, assault. Chicago Blackhawks. Wait, what did they do? They did it too? Yeah, they did it in 2010 after the Stanley Cup when the Blackhawks beat the Flyers. Oh no, we lost to those pedophiles. Uh, sorry, sorry, Big D. I know they're your team, but god damn. No, that, that's, that's fucked up. It yeah. is. Because you know what? Who was, it's fucking so who was fucking involved in that? It's not like who knowed about like Stan Bowman and who else? Joel Quinville were getting caught for that crap. Like no Stan shit. Stan Bowman should have been fucking fired years ago. Yeah, he fired <sighs> the he fired the best coach the Blackhawks ever had. Yeah, and especially he like scapegoat. He scapegoated him. Oh, the Chicago Blackhawks. Mm. Mm. Not usual. Bowman should have been fired years ago. And, and it's I, don't huge. Still, I don't know if he's still there now. I and mean, Hockey has not really been majorly my thing. So now sports, that we've sports seen... Sports in general isn't even really my thing anymore. So now that we've all seen... Most of us have seen the documentary. How does it stack up versus surviving R. Kelly? On par. On par, yeah. It's usual or not. I don't know if it, I don't know if it it's right up there with I think it top I think it surpasses Harvey Weinstein but I think it's got I think it's uh, got a mountain to climb when it contends with Roman Polanski and Woody Allen. Yes. Reminder that Whoopi Goldberg once defended Roman Polanski and said that it wasn't real rape. She needs to watch what she says sometimes. I'm saying this as a black person. No, she's a fuck. She's a really fucked up individual. Yes, she is. Sometimes. And the shit she said, and she, I don't, I don't watch the show, and no sane person should. But I hear about it occasionally whenever I log on to the shit fest known as Twitter. When because of the shit she says on the View, which is one of the most toxic. The View, the View. That's the lady talk show. I forgot the name of that for a second. Oof. Is she still even on that show? Yes. Mm. Only reason I even know that is because of the shit fest on Twitter. Yeah. Where people just lose their minds over the shit that they said. Yeah. Understandably so, but it's not. I, I'm, bar I'm barely on Twitter anymore. It's like when Aaron Hernandez was arrested for murdering Odin Lloyd. He actually died in jail. Yeah, right. Yeah, he, he was dead in yeah, jail. Yeah, he hung himself. No, no. He, 
definitely surpasses anything that most athletes have done. Although I think Lawrence Taylor had a had a case back in the day. What about OJ Simpson? OJ Simpson. No, OJ. No, OJ Simpson. No, OJ Simpson murdered murdered his wife. And, yeah, that was and dude, and the dude. She was like behind his back, wet. Oh my God. Um, I can remember the stories of my parents, you know, talk about that OJ case. My dad going like, the glove did not fit. And my mom was like, yes, it did. If, if, funnily enough, he, he, he ended up getting a harsher sentence when he finally did get sentenced a decade later, although he was let out early. Wasn't it for Larson? No, it, it was for uh, theft. I don't, Something, I forget. I forget where it was. I think it was. It was either in Vegas or. He, I he said the exact details. It was originally going to be. It was originally going to be fifteen years, but it got extended to thirty three. He and he said. Was let out. I think he only served thirteen of those. He says something about a uh, paraphrase here of uh, somebody, you know, uh, stealing his shit and then selling it. It was something along those lines. I don't quite remember what went on, but. Oh, it was fraud? Something, uh, something like that. Huh. Oh, boy. Fraud is uh, also a big case for athletes. How many of y'all? The worst, I think the worst case is, I think the worst case was Arch Schleister. So out of all three of y'all, um, do you really think that OJ killed his wife? Uh, yeah, he did. Make it serious question. He did. Mm, yep. Pretty sure of it because of the way he acted after, after he got out. Speaking of killing, like, what the fuck ever happened to Casey Anthony? How is she living nowadays? Man, I do not want to know. That was even worse than what OJ did. Yes, like, she got away with killing her own child. Completely got away with it. It's just sickening, man. And then, uh, I forget the... I forget what went on with the Jody Arias thing. That was a big one, too. Yeah. What do y'all think of Trayvon Martin? Not known him yet, so I haven't known him anyway. You mean George Zimmerman? Trayvon's yeah. dead. Yeah, no. What's your thought about... Uh, he, he, he. He kicked, the, he, kicked the shit, he kicked the shit out of Zimmerman's ass, and Zimmerman, like the fucking coward that he is, pulled a gun on him because he was losing. Yeah, that's some coward shit. That's some fucking Eddie Murphy and Harlem Knights shit. Shit. Yeah. Except he ain't shoot the toe. No, I'm pretty sure shot him in the chest, I'm pretty sure. And Adam Driver was flipped Zimmerman in that movie. He said, who gives a shit about that ass twat Casey Anthony? I do, because I want to see her in jail. I want to see her get the death penalty. But we, ain't, but we ain't getting that wish. No. No. Although, guess what? I want to see I want to see I want to see 99% of Congress in fucking Gitmo, but we ain't getting that either. And I want to see pedophile there was a story I read about uh, a certain pedophile who he was white. He had to register as a sex offender, but he only had to serve three months in prison for right. a long list of rapings, a long list of molestations and, toward this little girl. And there's also the elephant seal from California who still has faced no jail time whatsoever. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I don't care if it was the fucking Hawks. 
I'll let the Hawks have Let's this go. one. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. No I way. fucking hate the Celtics. Yes. Yes. Uh, yo, what did I say before we went live? Uh, the Celtics are chokers. They're going to choke. The chokers, frauds. I told you from the beginning, they are beatable. That's the pot calling the kettle black. But I'm the juggernaut, bitch. And just what give you an update. The, the, the Dodgers for nothing. It was one twenty to one eighteen. Wow. Woo! I'm sorry, Aphis. <laughs> I know you wanted the Hawks to lose, but not tonight. Not the Celtics. They could lose any other night. I mean, to hide in, I don't hate the Celtics either as a Clipper fan, but you know. I don't hate the Celtics because only I hate the most is the Portland Trailblazers because the Trailblazer fans are just assholes. Like the Miami Heat fans, they're assholes but too. The Trailblazers done nothing. They I don't really know. have nothing. The only team, the only team I really hate anymore is the Philadelphia 70 Chokers. Oh God! Oh. Because of the, because of the Cowboys of the NBA. I should have the Cowboys Clippers of the NBA. The game, but fuck the Pacers! I hope we kick their ass. If we get past that second round, you can't say that no more, Big D. <laughs> if we'll you win the title, if you win the title, I'll give you your damn roses. But that's if that ever happens. Mm. I mean, Mister D, what basketball team do you like? Because I'm a Clipper fan. Lakers. Ah, oh, crap! Get the hell out of here. You're hey, if it makes you feel any better. Else. Oh no, all right, Mr. Hey, D. You're a cool Lakers if it makes fan. You, if it makes you feel any better, past sins are doing the gods want us to pay up. And I'm at peace with that. And you know what's funny, y'all, that the Detroit Pistons still suck. Oh, oh yeah, on, fuck the, oh, yeah. I don't like the Celtics. Oh yeah, fuck the Pistons too. Oh yeah, the Pistons could go the Pistons the Pistons could go suck it. They dick. did not deserve they did not deserve to win in 04. Now yeah, it, I mean, that annoying ass announcer going the, like or piss is like, I don't hate the Pistons either. So let me explain about how the Pistons in 04 were good with Darvin Ham era in Ben Wallace era. Like, oh Rashid, Rip, who else? Chauncey and Tayshawn were good. Unless yes. Larry Brown was the coach. We're for, did you forget Rashid? Luke, that was the fluke, of, the fluke of the century. Did you forget Darko. Rashid? Darko. And that annoying announcer keeps popping up into my head going like, Detroit basketball. And there's, also, and there's also the mouse at the palace. Mouse at the palace. My God, Ron Artest. Ron Artest, he deserved Oh, wait, wasn't he on the Pacers? Spe speaking of which, wasn't he on the Pacers at that time? Yes, yes he, he was. was. <laughs> yeah. He was a Laker. Kinda... No, he was yeah. on the Pacers during the mouse, the mouse at the palace. At the palace. Yeah, but, I'm talking about yeah. But uh, he was a Laker when they last won it all, and well, when they won it all in 08 and 09. Yeah. No, he wasn't on. He wasn't on there in 09, in 08, 08, uh, 09. He was still on the Rockets. We traded Trevor Ariza for him. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. This is why Lamar Odom was a Clipper Laker forever. Oh, and kind of give you the closure for the uh, the Malice of the Palace thing. Ben Wallace and uh, Ron Artest are currently getting along right now. They're friends right now. Yeah, I guess they are. Anyway, speaking of, speaking of uh, Lamar Odom, I, I'll never forget when Kobe died. Lamar Odom said it should have been me. Wow, no way! I actually because see Lamar Odom, almost, Lamar Odom almost died at one point because he was a he was a hot mess for years. Wasn't he uh, dealing with a heart attack or something? Something like that, and he was yeah. also dealing with drugs and other things. He said, he, yeah, after Kobe died, he said, it should have been me. Well, Mr. D, what baseball team do you like? Because mine's the Angels. Baseball's not my thing. If I don't, you, I if don't you, have a baseball team. Although I did I did pull for the Phillies in 08, 09, the Braves in 2021, and the Phillies in 2022. Now, uh, Big Giants D. And the San Francisco Giants in 2011 during those years. I put Hypothetically, Big D, real quick, if you were to get into baseball, which team would you choose? That's a tough choice. Probably For Angels, I guess. No, oh, no, <laughs> ew, no, fucking not, Angels. <laughs> no, not the, no, not the Yankees. Ugh, the Yankees can go to hell. I don't hate the Yankees either, but I hate the Boston Red Sox because fuck Boston, though, but fuck the Red Sox. The mm. Dead Sox. Ugh. 
I used I used to not like the Braves, but they earned my respect in 2021 by sticking it to Manfred, who decided to cave into the progressives by moving the All Star Game to Colorado instead of Atlanta because they wanted to because. Because Rob Manfred hates freedom and he hates voter ID. And he didn't want to affect those poor Indians who are offended by the name Braves. Much as I hate the Astros more, but I hate the Kansas City Royals. And by the way, I'm still calling the the Guardians the Indians. They are the Indians to me. They deserve absolute that franchise deserves absolutely zero success for that alone. That's just like how have- just like how the Washington football franchise deserves zero success. And that's why the Indians have the longest drought currently in the MLB. They've been suffering since 1947. Good. Stay, let it stay that way until they grow a set of balls and get and, their name face back. And they choke to the team with the largest drought ever in the Cubs, 108 years. Yeah. Oh, say it again. Say it again. Hell yeah, bro. Fuck the Braves. Reminder that they st- – Reminder that they stole the tomahawk chop from the Florida State Seminoles. Yeah, tell them about that, too. I hate that chant. <laughs> Having to hear it when the fucking Kansas City Chiefs started doing it in Super Bowl 57 didn't help either. Yeah. Although, I think, we, and, they di- and they did it again. They do it every Chiefs game, but. Who's been around longer, Florida State or the Braves? I don't, I don't know, but the Braves really started doing it in the early '90s, and I think I think one of the thing is one of the things was Deion Sanders, who was from Florida State, played for the Atlanta Braves when he cross train when he cross he was a multi sport athlete. He did baseball. That's right, Dashy Sports. Fuck the Cubs too, and <laughs> fuck the Cardinals and the Brewers. Okay, you're getting put in timeout. I'm not even going to acknowledge that comment. Bruh. Did I do you, something wrong, Hayden? No, no, not you. Who um, was it? It was, somebody, it was somebody who was praising Brian Peck for what he did and the clown picture. AKA, AKA a troll. Yeah. We don't and have that time for him. all fucked alive, shot in both kneecaps, and hung over a bridge to bleed to death. And with that being said, get the hell off my stage. Biatch. My Steve Wilco shit. (laughs) Somebody better calm the the St. Louis (laughs) Bitchinals. But I agree with Ashley. Good call. From the St. Louis Cardinals to the St. Louis Bitchinals. Or the St. Louis Carpets because they get walked all over. Thank you, Senior. You, you're very appreciated, man. Um, please check this out. Man. I appreciate you. This Jerry, I'm not not this Jerry FC. This Dan Schneider stuff has to be put out there. Like, yeah, everybody Jeff, has a voice. Still Jeffrey Epstein is still accurate because he's been he's been to Epstein's Island. Yes, and I appreciate all of your time that y'all put in to give your thoughts and comments. It's very much appreciated. You're welcome. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he probably didn't want to acknowledge your tender feet. Ooh, feet. Hmm. Let me suck on some toes. Ooh, wee. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Back up. What? Whoa. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Damn right. It be- that troll should be banned permanently. I have no patience for John Wayne Gacy for taking lives of innocent young men and girls. Hey, Multiple. Hey, uh, hold on a second. Hold on. Hey, ghost of John Wayne Gacy, shut the fuck up, man. Get the hell out of hiding stream. Yeah, yeah there we go. There we there go. go. Get this bitch I, out of here. Fuck I thought that guy. I- I thought I banned him. He's now I got him. Loser. Yeah, you put him in timeout when you should have signed him up to block a fellow records. Yeah, like he's in there now. Yeah, just like when I block her, time somebody out, just like I do it too. Uh, let me see. I have to go to my YouTube channel. So let's give you the link there. No, I think he wants to hop on. Oh. Oh. 
back to the beginning. Da, 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 da. Right, I'm gonna head on out. I gotta get up early. Well, shit. all right, Mitch. Thank you for coming on, man. Appreciate you. Of course, of course. Don't worry. We'll have our live here, Michigan and Ohio State when football comes around. Boo. Get the hell off my show. <laughs> oh, wow. Fuck bitch again. <laughs> Damn, I nah, didn't. Nah, seriously. What were you going to say? <laughs> we have 18 players going into the draft. Oh, good. That's yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> we got Wink Martin Dale as a defensive coordinator. Reminder that Brandon Graham is a Wolverine. <laughs> yep. Yep. I still think we should have cut ties with them, but that's another story. Let him let him last one more year. He needs another ring. But for me, it's just like when is enough enough with these farewell tours? <laughs> when is enough and when is enough is enough with the damn choke jobs? At least um Jason Kelsey decided enough was enough. Same with Fletcher Cox. Yes. Yeah. Can't forget about him. Hey, 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 hey. They earn the, as far as I'm concerned, since they were on that roster, they earned the right to do what they want to do. At least enough was enough when it came to Quest fucking Watkins. Bye bye. Yeah, I, I told you that earlier today that he signed with Pittsburgh. And I was ecstatic. Yo, there was a, I think uh, Weapon X went live. It was like breaking news Quest Watkins got traded to the Steelers. I'm like, he did not get traded. I don't think he was traded. I think he was signed. No, he was a free agent. He, yeah, he was a free agent. He was an unrestricted free agent that just signed with somebody else. It's just a clickbait. Although, uh, BR, BR Luck, he'll probably be an impact player there. What's yeah. up, Bacon Grizzler? We got a couple new p people in the chat. What's up, Ruthless? What's Grizzler, good? Grizzler is a big D veteran. All right, I'm going to head out, guys. Have a good night. He is a veteran. Oh, from thank you. My, and he is a veteran for me and RPF's channels. Thanks for coming on, bro. Peace. All right. Uh oh, we might get bones up in here. Let's go. Let's dive What's deeper up, into this. Fuck. Let's dive deeper into this shit, man. He has some major shit he wants to get off his chest, and I'm excited to hear it. Me too. Oh boy, I don't feel like we've gone deep enough. We've kind of, you know, scratched the surface on this uh, Dan Schneider shit. Pause for the deeper part. <laughs> I got to wash my mouth. Whoa. <laughs> he said, thank God. Quiz hopefully it won't cut me off. when. Hopefully my new device won't cut me off when I do this. You know, in February when everyone enjoys the lens season like I do, like deal with it. And, you know... All right, here we go. You don't have to show your face anymore. Uh, everybody, welcome, Mr. Bones. What's up, Bones? Stranger Things. Yo, what's good, guys? Hey, what up? I am just so I'm, I feel like a normal person right now, and I and for the first time in my life, I don't sound like a conspiracy buff. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like yes. we've been. A lot of people have been talking crazy about how they're over sexualizing kids and you know what they did in the 90s it's just nowadays it's in your face now hold but up man they hold had us hold up uh cg ruthless you, oh never mind thank you all right he's coming on too what's good what's up, CG? hey where are you hiding before you go bro i just fucking trolled your ass fuck john wayne gacy by the way ps fuck that piece of shit oh my <laughs> god right. i fucking yeah. trolled you that's <laughs> that <laughs> dude no, you piece of shit. You fool. I just me fucking again. told you, bro. Fuck that piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck that piece of shit. Fuck that piece of shit. I fucking hate no, that guy, but I, I fucking told you under that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Oh my god. Fuck ghost of John Wayne nice. Gacy. Fuck is good. Man? It's good as troll cat, right? Just for fun jokes, right? But fuck that dude. I hate yeah. him. <laughs> fuck him. So, so while we got y'all two here, uh, or three, what are y'all thoughts about the documentary overall? Uh, dude, they should have been like held accountable years ago. You know what I mean? But uh, sick individuals, dude. 
But I did yeah. see the document. I did see the documentary, and then I seen you post the shit about it, and I and I looked at it with that peck guy who had a big fan with that one dude. So I decided to just mess with you under that account. <laughs> but yeah, that's a sick individual. I actually watched the documentary of that Gacy guy. Yeah, he killed thirty three people. Sick. Yeah. Oh yeah, that that's what really got me fucked up is that someone from all that. Literally, it's like the Beach Boys knowing uh, what's his name, <laughs> fucking uh, uh, Charles Manson. Wow, when Charles Manson had a connection with the fucking Beach Boys, like the Beach Boys were supposed to be on a record label with Charles Manson or some shit, but I guess they turned it down. Some crazy shit, bro. For all right. the crazy stuff we've seen, like the Bill Cosby's and now the Vince McMahon's, the Harvey Weinstein. Hey, it's a lot of things country. are just coming to the light, bro. Yes. Remember like what Cat Williams said? Remember what Cat Williams yeah. said? Shit was going to yeah. not be the same. So it's people who have outlived their usefulness to the so establishment. Who, so who was saying something about Dave Chappelle saying all of this before? It was me. It was it, it, he referenced he referenced cartoons that you see certain stuff as a kid that you wouldn't recognize until years later you see it as an adult and you're like, "What the fuck?" That was during during one of his stand ups. And I'm surprised we haven't even talked about Ren and Stimpy being in, on, the, on most of those cases. You no, mean, but like have you creator? noticed the foot, right? You notice the foot logo just seemed pretty kind of suspicious. Then you ever seen the reference for SpongeBob Dirty Dan, right? Yeah. Yeah. That we, we were talking that, about that earlier. Yeah. Then you look at the foot, one of right? Y'all is the real Dirty Dan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Yo, that man, shit was man, nasty, man. bro. Hey, thanks for coming on, Jordan Trask. Yeah. Hey, I uh, just wanted to just stop by quickly, and I just wanted to let you know I got you punk again. Where you hide? I just mess with you on that. <laughs> oh my god! That hey, shit but is you gotta watch the. You gotta watch the. You gotta watch the documentary of that. Even though for some ways it's he is a disgusting individual. Ted Bundy's probably the worst one of them all, but this one is by far up there. So is Woody Allen. Yes. Yeah, but if you've seen Ted Bundy, right, that dude's the worst. Yes. Oh man. Uh, I mean, yeah, he but gives um, Al, he gives Al Bundy yeah. a bad name. Yeah, but that John Wayne Gacy, yeah, he should be up there because thirty-three people. How the hell you get away with that shit? They weren't we people. They were R. Kids. Kelly. R. Kelly's up there. That Price fucking piece of shit Epstein. too. They weren't people. They were kids. Yeah, they like were Kelly like mostly minors that he too. killed. He killed a lot of minors out of it, so that really disgusted me. And then his sister didn't condone it or whatever, but still. Yeah. Under everybody's circumstances, there's no control. But um, yeah, um, Dan Snyder was just caught up with it at some point. I mean, I mean, Dan Snyder, and then you got Dan Snyder. What difference? They're both piece of shits. Yes, they are. Uh, where are they hiding? I just wanted to tell you that. Uh, I just wanted, I just wanted to pop in for uh, like a few minutes. So how's it going? And I'm not very nervous. And I just hear a voice for the uh, CG root place and. Because I, this is one of my good friend of mine, but I will tell oh. you for this one. I will tell you for this one. Um, because when we are kids, we are afraid of all those monsters. But right now, we're just growing up, and right now, we just see for the real monsters. I mean, for example, there is Stan Schneider, there is Harvey Weinstein. I mean, there is Vince McMahon. I mean, there is Lou Perman. I mean, there's these are the real monsters who are haunting us. I mean, Jeffrey. there's are like the real thing, but. That time would have behind right there. I mean, even though we grow up watching all these children shows, I mean, uh, we just we just realize that all childhood it might be not perfect. But I think um, tension that is just like a piece of shit because I know he's doing like the weird stuff with children and also for the kids. I mean, that's the weird shit about it. And I know because I just live in North Carolina, which is the United States. I mean. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of different shits all over in like all over in the city right there. Yeah. And I've been seeing like the worst thing that a child abuse. That's a very good point. And thank you for coming on to our show. Um, this is the first time I've ever seen you. Yeah, because I'm being yeah, because I'm being friend of uh, one of my greatest brothers, which is Mitch and City Ruthless. I know that guy because I I've been known for like it a few years and man, that, that was like very crazy because I just saw for the stream and say thoughts it about for then for that and said that I was like, hmm. So uh, like a review. Mm -hmm. So so real quick, um, can you tell us all about your channel and what you do if you even make content? 
Oh, uh, yes, I just make it a lot of content because right now I'm ahead of to 1K subscribers, which I had a, like a more than 80, 800 subscribers on my channel. And this one is dedicated to uh, to all the sports, entertainment, and what's just talking about of very topics in my show, let them speak. Also, I provide play by plays. Also, I provide with football stars, with the Raiders, all the NFL, which is, is very close to the the NFL draft, that's what I provide anything could stop, but I just provide in both languages, which is at profession, which is I both in English and Spanish and play by play. So that's kind of one of my things. And I'm going to have for a one K subscriber, which is my main goal. Yes, sir. And you will get there shortly based on how you're yeah. projecting so far. So mm -hmm. thank you for coming on to our channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks a lot, and I just wanted to tell you, have a good night, and salute to you where you're hiding. Uh, Big D, Bones Energy, which is like, a, you're a Giants fan? Yes, yes I am. Ew! <laughs> fuck, What's wrong fuck, with that? Fuck these other two, bro. Okay. What do you mean, what's wrong with that? <laughs> who, who, who the fuck said, who, what's wrong with that? Uh, oh. But I know, but I know, but I know, but I... <laughs> but, I just wanted to, but I just wanted to tell like, one question for Bones NYG. How do you mm -hmm. feel about for Saquon Barkley getting off of the field of the Eagles? Did that feel sad? Uh oh. It is a sad story, but it is a business move. The NFL is a strange business, and they just had every, a lot of giant. I feel that a lot of giant fans have feel betrayed. They, I feel it's the younger crowd that doesn't know the business of the NFL because I remember Mark Favaro long time ago made a business decision and signed with the Eagles, even though he hated playing against them. Yeah, so, yeah, I know, I know. Everyone I know, forgets but... about it. So it, NFL is just a fucked up business, and the Eagles yeah. just had his asking price. That's all it was. Yeah, yeah. And not yeah, only I that, know. Saquon is close to home. He 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 went where the money was. You can't hate him for it. Yeah, oh you know, yeah, I just ran out of that. More worth the opportunity. You don't, uh, glory is. You don't see us bitching what? about Zach Ertz going to Washington. Oh no. hell no. Dude, mm. fucking Washington McNabb always went signs. to Washington, bro. There's Washington too much history signs. with that. Washington always signs Philly re Philly has bens. And, and I hate goods. saying that about I hate saying that about Ertz, but it's the truth. I will remember always, when, I will remember always when Washington for... got Deshaun Jackson? Yeah. Uh, no, he did no, he, but he was he like, did. oh my goodness. It was an up and down time. I'm not gonna totally bash his time with Washington. He was effective. Yeah, he, was, he, was he, he got a good one against us. He was too. still on his prime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, but I just wanted to figure it out, and I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to jump up for a few minutes. And I think that New York Giants doesn't have a chance to beat the Eagles. I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, hey, here's a here's one of the things. Here's a here's a thing. Here's a thing. We just beat you because remember when Las Vegas Raiders beat the New York Giants when Antonio Pierce was the new head coach? Yeah, let's still forget about, about it. Hey, so he's a yeah. <laughs> let's talk about that. You need some tissues, Bones? <laughs> what do I care about the Las Vegas game? That's just a part of history, bro. <laughs> Yeah, was, because was it, I, oh yeah, was I'm just coach. happy for Antonio Pierce because now the Raiders have someone who can relate to their culture. That's the thing that the Giants have. We don't have, you know. We and just also, get the Antonio Pierce back. just want to just want to win. Either. Mm -hmm. And remember when I said the Giants were young? They have no depth. They have no yep. freaking leadership. There's no. Everybody's young. I know we we're we're not looking so good on paper. It's it's terrible. I hate reading the newspaper about us. It's a complete joke. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. We, yeah. Dude, the New York Giants have fallen off a fucking cliff, which is, you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. All right, folks. You know what it is, though, just think of like how the Giants were in the '70s. Everyone knows how mm -hmm. shitty the Eagles were in the fucking okay, '60s. Okay, okay. We always treated them like a fucking secondhand city, and they hated us because we were always on TV. When yeah, TV yeah, was yeah. popping, the Eagles hated the New York Giants for it. Mm -hmm. They hated us for it. And this was like before the 1960s. I think this was even before the 1960s when Dallas Cowboys came. Before they fucking before that survived abortion came along. <laughs> yeah, that you call the that. Dallas Cowboys. But like back uh -huh. in like the fifties, forties, I remember they even said the Philadelphia radio they didn't like it when 
the New York Giants were on TV more than the Philadelphia Eagles were. Yeah, I'll tell you yeah, what. The nice. Eagles it, wanted to feel more involved. That's what basically started the, the entire rivalry. What, TV wars? Yeah. Dude, TV Probably was, radio. Probably radio when wars. Frank Gifford, when Frank Gifford was broadcasting on TV, the Philadelphia Eagles organization, they hated that shit because they wanted to feel like a big city also. And that's what start. That's what you know. It only dude, heated things up from there, dude. dude if Dallas, they hate if us Dallas is they, a anus. If Dallas is a survived abortion, then Washington is a zombified fetus. Dude, yeah. they're not, they, there are zombies. The Redskins are dead. Remember, they replaced yeah, it to the motherfuckers fetuses. that they were. Yeah, this is how fucked up America's getting. We're just repeating history, like what everyone's doing to the native american and they killed off the native american indian name and they put it on a name that killed the native americans in the first place exactly rest in peace aunt jemima Imagine, although i think i think dan snyder did that per on purpose yeah who knows i mean i hear that there is a petition to bring the name back and honestly bring back the washington redskins bring no, back Josh bring Harrison back the a fucking mm. bomb he's not gonna bring do anything Bring back the Cleveland Indians. Bring back Aunt Jemima. No, the Boston Braves. Bing, bring, yo, send these dudes back to Boston oh and bring Ooh. back the Boston Braves. They don't want Ooh, you. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Please Hold bring back that. the Boston Braves. Yeah, Please yeah, yeah. <laughs> do it. I will have a field day with that shit. Yeah, they're gonna sign a petition on it, but oh wanna... my god, if they were to yeah, go yeah. back as the Boston Braves, I swear. Reminder that, yeah, hold yeah, yeah, yeah. Reminder yeah. that yeah, hold the name Redskins was it was come up with by it was it was a tribute to a Blackfeet chief. What were you gonna say, Rafucho? Uh, I just wanted to hop off, but uh, I just had a few uh, moments, but I just wanted to say that uh, thanks for having me while you're hiding. Also, salute to Bones, Big D. So. Have a great night, folks. All right. You as well, sir. Thanks for coming on. And, of course, I got a message for Bones. I got a pair of tissues. So do you want someone? Because I'm <laughs> because you're a low sino. Hey, bro. I understand that we're easy to troll on, but you don't want to try me. Believe me. Mm. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> he rage quit. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy. But no, you know what it is though? We're we're easy to troll. I get it. Exactly. exactly. Our, it's hard to do so when you lose your fucking veteran of the goddamn team. Uh, I smell pussy. Is provide. that you, Irv? I smell pussy. Is that you, Ja? Oh, that you was what? what a distract. If, if there's something that I love about Saquon Barkley, he came from New York and Philly and brought G Unit with him. Many men, many, 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 many men. Oh, yeah, he did. I remember that. <laughs> That's your song, Big D. At least one of them. <laughs> Let's go. He could have at least used the Meek Mill track. Get the fuck out of here. He's already in Philly. Nah, let's yeah, leave but... his ass in Boston since he want to wear a Patriots and that shit, And that shit's overplayed anyway. Ooh. Not that many Ooh. Fuck Boston's bitch ass. Dude, if they that's why the Washington Redskins should be the Boston Braves. Bring it back. Fuck Boston's bitch ass. <laughs> Bring back the Boston. I need I need something to I need to say something stupid in a video if, if they do that. Uh, I I love it. I fucking love it. But yeah, uh, dude, for the first time, like people would like call me a conspiracy buff all the time. I am so glad things are being brought to the light, even though it, it's it, it's going to cost. But we were expecting this. Same Let thing with Hollywood, bro. We're going to see we're going to get so heartbroken with that Epstein list. I'm telling you, it, and, and, and if the whole world it. is going to change dramatically and I'm going to love it and I'm going to feel absolutely normal about it while everyone else loses their fucking minds. If Tom <laughs> Hanks is on that list, I am fucking yes. falling to the floor. He is. Oh my God! Let me, ta let me tell let you something. On it. Let me tell you something. The difference between a conspiracy theory, quote unquote, and the truth is usually six months. 
we have to have the truth no matter what it slices They as. called vaccine passports a conspiracy theory. Meanwhile, months later, they actually tried pushing that on everybody. Yeah. That got enough of us pushed back. Yeah. I'm just saying, man, like for, with the with the R. Kelly's, the Bill Cosby's, the Weinstein's, Ed the Steen, ADP, EDP. EDPs, come on, bro. Things we had being to, brought to the light in the 20s. Yes. This is the new decade of the 2020s. Burn, burn we, show. At some, at we some can, point, we had to give up our likability or loveability for those human beings because they did wrong. Seriously. Right. Dude, 2020s is one of the biggest reality checks in American and world history, bro. Meanwhile, people are still fucking asleep. Me, I, uh, I'll We're be right back. See a major, like, a wise man once that coming soon, bro. I'll be right a back. Wise I gotta man pee. That. Gotta pee, y'all. All right. <laughs> a wise man once said, "It's the American dream because you got to be asleep to believe it." George Carlin, baby. Oh yeah, I think we I think we mentioned that in the car on uh, on the yeah, way back. Yeah, dude, George Carlin was a, was a fucking genius, man. Everyone dude, just like to say, I, "Oh, he's I a comedian. Plugged, he's a comedian." You I know plugged, what I'm and they did the same thing with all that. Oh, it's just supposed to be funny. Yeah. It's supposed to be funny. I'm like, nah, bro. Like they have no, the no, no, no. It was it, so outrageous. Because it's stuff you you wouldn't see as a child, but then when you look at it all those years later, like, oh, what the fuck. Dude, that shit like really that whole got Dave me Chappelle up, thing. Man. That shit was our child. We've been lied to our entire lives, bro. We thought being in all that was we were a duped. place. We always, our parents always told us to never talk to strangers and shit. And we thought those kids were so safe being goofy and having a great time. The Ask Ashley skits. All those fucking Pierre Escargot skits. The Good Burger skits. They're all having a wonderful time. Nah, that fucking fat fuck is sick, bro. And he uh, and, and he's that on, guy and Brian Peck, who's somehow associate. Why is it always that someone's connected to somebody? Because you because that's think, how it works, dude. Think back, think back to the Beach Boys and Charles Manson, bro. Yeah, I, I, like why, I said, why is Dennis Rodman? To- why is Dennis Rodman so tight with North Korea? You know going, going back at it, going back to George Carlin again, it's a big club, and you ain't in it. Exactly, bro. Right now, you know keep what it in is? Mind, Keep in mind the World Economic Forum, who bought off, who has bought off most of the government and corporations, they've actually went on record to defend pedophilia. Um, I think Joe Biden has... Pedophilia tension. Oh, he's maybe. a well-known pedophile. Oh, of yes. course. He's also you know, supposed yo, to You know who Joe Biden is? is? You know who Joe Biden, Joe Biden is that fucking grandpa in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, bro. And I'm talking 1970s Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I believe he's that. It. He's that half-dead fucking grandpa, and you're just feeding him fucking bloody fingers. That's uh, Joe Biden. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, well, that's disgusting. <laughs> well, that's disgusting. This is the uh, truth, though, man. Yep. Uh, the truth can be disgusting. Yes, yes, it can be. But it has to come to light. And we were saying earlier in the stream that these women like Amanda Bynes, all these cats have to come out and say something. Jeanette McCurdy, all of them. Nicole. How much you want to bet that they're going to make another episode? They are going to interview a man. Oh, hell yeah. They have to. It cannot stop it. The way episodes. it ended, dude. The way it ended, it's not over, bro. They're gonna it's make not. another episode. This is just scratching the surface. This can't end the there. Whole after thing four is the whole thing is the tip of the iceberg. Yes. Dude, wait till wait till Boy Meets World gets interviewed. How much you want to bet something fucked up happened there too? Oh Most my definitely. god! The Why way they think- sexualized the panga was out of this world. Why do you think Maitland Ward is in the fucking porn industry now? Who the hell sexualized Wait, Lola from Full Space House? Jam? Wasn't there a character in Full House, or is that the girl you're talking about? No, in, oh, in some, Maitland Ward, someone I from it was someone I think from Full House ended up on that shit. I think it was the oldest daughter on the show. That wouldn't surprise me. Even though Full House is an older show, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, somewhere early 90s, maybe. Yeah, somewhere right there. 
You got it, dude. Everywhere you look is some sick fuckers. Oh, speaking of sick fuckers, y'all remember that father from Seventh Heaven? Yeah. What dude, the fuck was his name? Too, man. That's what another the... sick fuck right there. Yo, he actually admitted to it. What the fuck was his name? Oh, I forgot his name. I totally forgot, but I know who you're talking about. My, yes. my wife talks about it like whenever it's like brought. When we're watching, a, she brings it up when we watch a Watch Mojo countdown on what had like a big scandal. And Seventh Heaven made that list. Yeah. Mojo aren't exactly the greatest countdown list. They're, they could be extremely biased. They can be, but they not, not all of them. Way, not no all cap- of them are, are too biased. When By it the comes way, to no political correctness, they are biased. Right? Trust me. His his name was Stephen Collins. By the way, they know not. They, by the way, they know absolutely nothing about Pokemon. They actually considered Electross. You wouldn't know who that is because he's fifth gen, the most overpowered. <laughs> in reality. <laughs> See, when in reality, it's fucking Gen One Mewtwo. <laughs> Yo, oh you would God. have wonderful conversations with Michael Rand. I'm not gonna lie, bro. <laughs> Again? Oh my god. Tell me this guy don't look like a pedophile. What? That's the seventh heaven guy, Stephen Collins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, my skin is tingling. I think I know him from somewhere. He's 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 from seventh heaven, bro. Seventh heaven. Shows in seventh heaven, Jessica Beale. You know who's not in seventh heaven? The Steelers or the Patriots. Or Dallas. Neither is anybody else. <laughs> yeah, or Dallas. <laughs> Damn, we're a, we got a ways to go. <laughs> Just saying. Stairway to seven. I'll meet you there, Zed, Zed, Led Zeppelin. More like the highway to hell. <laughs> That seems where this world is going to, bro. The, every, everything it, it, I've it's watched, already in that direction. Dude, yeah. everything is going to escalate. Like, the way they're talking about Brian Peck, who went into Disney afterwards, they're probably going to start talking about this. How much you want to bet that I this, hear, and here's the most this, this TV show is not just going to talk about Nickelodeon. They're going to talk about Disney, too. How much you want to bet? Yes, they have to talk about Disney. Oh, okay, Disney Disney's way worse. And we were talking earlier about how Cartoon Network might not get away with it either. Are you fucking serious, I bro? Car- I forget who owns Cartoon Network. I think it was Time Warner. But they never had they never had live action shit though. They're only getting what? They're gonna get in trouble for all the cartoons that they put on? Never. They At might, least we don't know that now, but you never but, know. Wait, 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 wait. Light. wait, wait, wait. You, like I said before, you might want to look at some of the parent companies. Think about who owns Cartoon Network. Who else do they own? I forget who owns Cartoon Network. I'm pretty sure it was. I'm pretty sure it's Warner, which is but why a lot say, of the uh, oh Warner Brothers, hell yeah. But um, yeah, think Big about D, who they were, also own. They also own CNN. They, but Big D, you were saying earlier how um, Nickelodeon has some affiliates to Cartoon Network. Some of their uh, people who work well, there. Yeah, they, they do. Well, all those networks hire the same voice actors for their talent, obviously. But you also got to look at their parent companies like Nickelodeon, Viacom, which also owns MTV. Draw your own conclusions with that one. Mm. Keep in mind, there was a show on MTV called 16 and Pregnant. Yes, there was. I remember that. That was crazy. Yeah, now one that of was them. On, now, that now was on MTV. Now one yeah, of those girls is a famous MTV only and fans Nickelodeon model. are owned by Viacom. Wow. That's good to know. Oh, 16 and Pregnant is so fucking... Wow. Half of those MTV shows were fake as fuck. Remember Next and would, Date My Mom? It was such poor acting, bro. It would not, it would not surprise me if it was a work like wrestling. Of course, dude. It was to- it, you got to see. You got to rewatch some of their episodes. It was probably it was, it was probably the dumbest the same- shit I've ever watched in my life. It wouldn't surprise me if it was the same type of pregnancy as Lita's. Yeah. Mm. Oh, speaking of pregnancy, fucking Jamie Lynn Spears got pregnant, pregnant on the Disney fucking channel. That's At right. 16. That's right. That's right. Grizz, Hollywood as a whole is a fucking cesspool. Always has been, 
And that's one of the, I think that's one of the things Walt Disney tried to warn us. And not only the Hollywood, but also the music industry as well. Tupac oh and Biggie God. were ready to expose it in the late 90s. And then next thing you know, P. Diddy, who recently just got caught, talked Biggie out of bulletproofing his Suburban the day in advance. Oh, yeah. Um, I forgot to talk about the home. 50 Cent claims that Diddy killed Tupac. Oh, my God. Which dude. I believe. Well, I don't know if he did it directly, but he definitely had some hand in it. Yeah. So I got some shocking stuff to reveal to you, hey, Fizz. My mom was 16 and pregnant as well to my brother Reese. He was, she was his first child. She was her first child. This thing. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back up. Run that, uh, back up. Run that by, uh, what was that again? My brother Reese is the first child of my mom. And she oh, was pregnant. Oh, she, oh. she was Why pregnant with. for a second that she was pregnant from him, as in he. <laughs> no. <What>? No. <laughs> well, that's the stuff that. <laughs> oh, I thought. No. That. No. no. <laughs> well, that's disgusting. Well, that's disgusting. Yeah. yeah. I, <laughs> I fucking oh love God. that shit, bro. <laughs> so, yeah, my mom had my first, my mom had uh, a baby at 16 and 17, another, so two kids by the time she was 18. And then she had my other brother and then me finally, and I was the last one in the 90s. Thank God! Thank God! Mine's common theme was is the early twenties. Yeah. Although mine was my age when she had me. I think I think my mom was uh, maybe twenty four, twenty three, twenty four. Big D tried to turn this stream into a Jerry Springer episode. <laughs> you just for real, right? Funny thing is, Grizz, you just referenced a show that was on WB on the now, WB network. Now all we need. Now all we need is some hoes running to the back when they don't get the results they want. There's also uh, no, nah, that's the more Montel. There's also starting over. Uh, those, those songs, those songs used to cl uh, used to be imprinted into my head. All those times I used to weasel my way out of going to school, because back in the day, sometimes those TVs would just turn on automatically at a set time, and I Where didn't know how to fix that. And times where I used to, I used to weasel my way out of school. The TV would just randomly turn on, and during the weekdays, it was Montel and then Jerry Springer. Were you a truant? Yeah, a lot of times in my life. Yeah. Yeah. I only skipped school twice, and I got in trouble for it. I got ISS. Oh, I've got oh, I've gotten those before. Other I've places never... they called it FDD. I've, I've never gotten suspended off a of school property. I've gotten suspended twice, but it was in school suspensions. That's what ISS means. I, I once got suspended 30 days. I think I already mentioned this. Damn, I got suspended I, I, I 30 days. So for, uncool, all I've ever got I got suspended 30 days in seventh grade for a bomb threat. Because you were good. Which I never boy, was going to know it. out, obviously. But, the, but in those days, I learned that. They treat saying you're going to do something the same way as actually doing it. Bones, the reason why you ain't getting in trouble, because you a good boy, you know it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace to Drake. Ugh, K Dot killed him. Yeah. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Ben Zeno's corpse is still wandering the fuck around. I wonder if he grew a neck. Hold on, wait. Oh yeah, he did look like a banana with braids and clothes on. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, because D that was another that was another one. D was brutally murdered. Worm with braids. <laughs> Call me disgrace. Get it? Call me rabbit. This is a turtle race. <laughs> you can't get me with you spitting this shit lickety. <laughs> Shot to splicky splickety split lickety. I'm gonna turn around with a great smile. Walk I can't even. Head. I don't think I can count mine either, Grizz. So I'm gonna turn around with a great smile and walk my Oreo ass back across eight miles. <laughs> <laughs> you 
think they going you think they going to feel the shit you say? I got a better chance joining the KKK. Oh, oh that dog I liked you. That's why I don't want to be the one you commit suicide to. Oh man, that actor, <laughs> that plate that rapper has passed away this year. Really? Yeah, he wow. Yeah. Lotto, who, whoever. I love the fact. Lotto. I love the fact that they did. They did that to an Onyx beat. Yes, that was one of the sickest hip hop beats I've ever heard. Yeah. Oh, on Onyx was the shit back in the day. Yes. I mean, that's when rap was actually listenable. Well, yeah, because a lot of them, a lot of them were from the streets. They lived that life. It felt it was authentic. It, now it's, it, it wasn't so damn corporate. Nowadays, it's all pussy popping and who can get the most hoes. Nah, I, I can't stand it. I can't uh -huh. with it sometimes. Nobody can. The only, one that's, on the only one that's even half decent nowadays is Tom McDonald, and that's it. Yeah, right. What about Kendrick, J. Cole, even Drake? I'd even put Drake on that pedal stool. Nah, I mean it, they're I would, all right, I would, but it's, I would still say I, I don't feel the same, dude. I'm, I just feel dead inside when I listen to them. It's like, it's the beginning of the end, bro. We ain't gonna see. Any oh, it's been it's been the end for a long time. <sighs> Every time I hear all the, the all the all the authenticity and the edginess has been getting phased out in favor it, of the political it's the used up shit all the all the pleasures are being used up is what it is has there ever and been any completely derailed they're trying to de they've been blatantly trying to destroy our childhoods come to think about it has there ever been any pedophiles in the rap game uh, yeah so rp diddy oh yeah okay i forgot about him <laughs> proceed so far p diddy that's all i, I know to proceed to give you what you need it's Snoopy D O double G, you see. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, y'all remember y'all remember Rap City on B E T. Yeah, my parents blocked me for watching it. Y'all lucky. Of course they did. Mine wouldn't mine wouldn't let me watch that either. Because my father was a racist. And my mother was a super Christian. Love oh, that's mom. also bad. Love you, mom. Though <laughs> I just, not, I just watch. I, I barely, not that I, nothing against like, uh, cause I don't know. They played rap music on MTV. I didn't have to put on BET. You know what I'm saying? You think Drake a pedo? Ooh, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised either. To be quite, dude. At this point, with the whole Keep mind, hey, Snyder hey, thing, nothing Drake surrises on me. Yes, he was he on Degrassi. Degrassi. He Yes, that's what back when they called him Aubrey. Wasn't Yo, that on? I, was, was that on the Disney Channel or? Was you know, this on? is how fucked up. This is how fucked up Dark Side of TV is gonna get. Or quiet on the set. They're gonna have Drake talking about I was molested on the fucking wheelchair, bro. Oh no! <laughs> I can't even fathom. <laughs> it's the oh. industry as a whole. Hmm. I'm just saying, bro. I'm not ready. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna start coming out with some dumb shit and then it's like uh <laughs> I'm telling dude, I'm literally up to the point where nothing surprises me anymore. Yeah. Everything with Dan <laughs> Snyder, the whole Bill Brian Smith. Beck thing with John Wayne Gacy, which blew my fucking mind. I'm sorry. Nothing is going to surprise me, bro. It's just yeah, like Charles maybe. Manson and the fucking Beach Boys, dude. It's like the Beatles and a Lester fucking Crowley, or, or you know what I'm saying? Yeah, all people that thought, shit. All of that shit. Crazy, and people thought it was crazy enough with uh, Frank Sinatra and the Mob. Yeah, that wasn't exactly. Anywhere near it's, come on, man. Like that this, wasn't anywhere near. For those people in the chat, have you ever called it Degrassi or Degrassi? The N. What the hell was that? That was the uh, basically the channel they called it. It was a it, it was a teenage version of Nickelodeon. G Nick. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it was pretty I much. Got, I got one Nick before thing. the end. Yeah. I got to start heading out, but I will say one final thing. Yeah. Dude, with the whole Dan Schneider thing, I it's on and the P Diddy and the Vince McMahon's. I'm having a feeling that things are just going to escalate from here and we're about to see some heads roll. 
Absolutely. This and is it. Even, this is it. We're witnessing it now. We're we're all the, we are a generation born to witness the end of the world. Right. And here's the more fucked up part about it. This is all a distraction from what the shadow government wants to has in store for the rest of us. Pretty much. But yeah. hey, I, I, I gotta I gotta get some sleep. The baby's gotta get some sleep. I'll 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 see you guys later, all right, man. All right. Thanks for coming out, Bones. Later, guys. Uh, we may as well end the stream here then. Um, you have any final words, Big D? Eh, not much. I didn't get a chance. I didn't get a chance to mention it to him, but I've already told him on Instagram anyway. But and I'm just hoping that things start to turn up one would way or like, another. Would you like to share those uh, thoughts that you had mentioned with Bones to the viewers? Oh. Uh, I'm thinking about it, but nah, I don't want to. I don't want to make the. I don't want to diverge this from the topic. No. Anyways, um, y'all have a good night. Thanks for coming out, Big D, as well as the other guests that have come on. Y'all have a good night. Peace. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all subscribe.